What's up guys, Matty here, MixingMasterMaster.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out a new compressor plugin from Universal Audio called Capital Compressor. The Capital Compressor is modeled after Capital Studios CM5511 Mastering Compressor. This compressor is loosely based around a Gates or a Fairchild type compressor, but with modifications for mastering purposes. What's unique about these compressors, there's only four of them made, and they were made specifically for Capital Studios, and Universal Audio was allowed to take two of them to model and recreate as a plugin. So in today's video, we will go over all the compressor settings, and then I'm gonna master two different songs using the compressor. Let's go. Okay guys, so here is the compressor. You gotta admit, it's a pretty beautiful GUI. Uh, it's got a power on and off and the, it lights up when you turn it on, which is kind of cool. I like good GUIs, so there's nothing wrong with that. So let's go left or right to check out the different controls. First off, you have your input, which you know feeds the compressor. Then there's a side chain. What's interesting about the side chain is it has three different positions and it defaults to a 700 hertz, 6 dB slope, uh, but it also has 365 or you can run it flat. And I find it interesting that it's set as default with the side chain on, maybe that's how it's uh, initially done with the actual hardware unit. You can definitely get some different sounds of how much bass you want to not hit the compressor. Then you have your threshold, attack, release, just like most compressors. This is your ratio control. So there's actually five ratio settings and I don't believe this is in the original, but they allowed it to be used for the plugin. And so you have two to one, three to one, four to one, six to one, and then 10 to one. So uh, five different comp uh, compression ratios, and then your output. Now, this output only attenuates, although it's a little weird because sometimes you can unattenuate to get your gain back, but you also have a gain down here. So as you notice, it's, it starts at zero and then goes down. Um, but I found using it that I'm actually using it as an output gain. Control link, so you can run this left, right, mono or stereo and then your channel in and out here. Here is your mid side, you, so you can run this mid side or left and right, different VU options, so attenuation or input, uh, side chain linking, dual mono or linked. Then down here you have some extra features that aren't included in the hardware unit. This reminds me of what Plugin Alliance has been doing for a while. You have a mix knob, headroom, which I love that they've been adding this to a lot of the UAD stuff. Sometimes you have a signal that's just hitting things too hot, or you have a signal that's not hitting it hot enough and you can use this to boost more headroom into the compressor or less headroom into the compressor. Mono fold, so just like Plugin Alliance has, you can fold the low end all the way up to 200 hertz. Um, gain, as we discussed with the output. And then shape, which is the saturator. Uh, zero is nothing, 100 is all the way up. And this is to turn it on and off. Next is the meters. Uh, you have peak, which is at dB full scale, and then you have luffs, which you have uh, integrated and short term, which I like seeing on mastering compressors. It's, it's very helpful. So let's get into listening to some examples and trying this thing out. First song is from my buddy Trip Carter called Heavyweights. So we'll just get this thing going and start turning some knobs. So it sounds nice, it gives it some nice warmth, a nice hug, pulls it together, glues it together. Let's now push it some more and see what we can come up with.
So you can get a lot of flavors with this thing. You can push it, you know, a lot, get it really pumping, you know, with a fast attack. Or we could do what we first started out with, which was just, you know, a nice DB or less of compression just to glue the master all together. So it sounds really cool. Let's check it out on this other song called Bye Bye Mon Cowboy by uh, La Rebelle that I mixed. And we're gonna try something else. We're gonna use the mid side and see what we can do with that. So this is something I do sometimes when mastering is I'll get a compression going just like a normal left and right, then take out the control link and then we can boost the, the size just a bit more and that will give us a little more width. It's another way to get width for a master. So as you can see, by doing that, what we've done is we've we've gotten a little bit of glue and it's 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 given us some warmth and, and, and love. And then we took it out of con control link and just boosted the output a bit and then sped up the attack. Now that's something you can play with and you gotta be careful, it can sometimes mess up your stereo image. Anytime you're using mid-side can mess up your stereo image, but it's it's a cool way to play with the middle and the sides when that's all you have in a mastering situation. So I like that it has mid side and you can do that little boost. Sometimes it just gives a little love. Um, so overall, this thing sounds pretty cool. All right, guys, so that is the Universal Audio Mastering Compressor. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's a fantastic unit. Uh, I wanna play with it some more in the next couple of days to see if something I'll actually purchase. But if you're in the market for a mastering compressor, this might be the one to check out. If you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixedandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.